For the past 29 years, this honoree has been making an economic and creative impact on the city of Memphis through her position as Memphis and Shelby County Film Commissioner. During her tenure leading the Memphis and Shelby County Film and Television Commission, she has been responsible for an estimated $100 million economic impact and the creation of thousands of jobs. Receiving the Innovation Award, Lynn Sittler. Lynn Sittler, in, in, a, in a word to me uh, that really speaks to her, is, is purpose is another word. I mean, it, it, it really, really says that when a person has a commitment to do a particular thing, if they want to do it to a high level long term, they have to have passion and a purpose with it. Lynn's purpose always was to make the film industry credible in our area, and she's lived that. She's dedicated her life to that, and she's proven that through her leadership, great compliments to our city uh, happens all over the world. Lynn has helmed the commission through such productions as Sidney Pollock's The Firm, Joel Schumacher's The Client, Francis Ford Coppola's The Rainmaker, and Craig Brewer's Hustle and Flow and Black Snake Moan. In 2006, Lynn's efforts were key to the successful passage of Tennessee's Visual Content Act as the first significant film incentive legislation in the state of Tennessee it helps to support and manage recruitment efforts to bring small and large-scale productions to the state. I believe that in many ways, Lynn pioneered the ability to transcend creativity and translate it into dollars and cents in ways that make sense to the business community. This way, she's transformed Memphis into one of the best communities for film and television without unrealistic expectations or exhausting limited resources. I would say just overall uh, being responsible for bringing the productions to the city, to um, educating uh, not only the community but um, the city and county government into the importance and, um, of production, of having production here and the economic impact that it provides, the jobs that it creates. Um, the experience that our citizens get from working on these productions and often have moved on um, to larger productions, moved on to other cities, hopefully they stay in Memphis, but, um, and that goes for both crew and cast. In 2015, Lynn worked with the Shelby County Delegation and the Tennessee Department of Economic and Community Development to obtain the first ever state film incentive funds earmarked specifically for Memphis and Shelby County. I, I would say Memphis original. Um, you know, Memphis has been blessed with having a lot of excellent heads of 501c3s and nonprofits, and I won't mention all the names of the various people, but I would put Lynn at the top of that list uh, over the 29 years that she's been the executive or the film commissioner for the commission. Uh, she has served in a level that I think surpasses any other public servant in Memphis uh, during that 29 year period. Making Memphis more competitive in the film market compared to other cities. This year, along with Tennessee Film Commissioner Bob Raines and the Tennessee Senate Majority Leader Mark Norris, she led the recruitment of the television series Million Dollar Quartet, which began filming this month. The series is projected to have a direct spin of more than $17 million in Memphis and Shelby County an amazingly resourceful person uh, that doesn't take no for an answer. Uh, she hits a dead end, dead end or, or a wall. She just finds a way to jump over it. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm the kind of way that pushes my way. She's kind of the way that just does it very softly. Lynn has served as a board member for the Memphis chapter of the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences and Playhouse on the Square. She is currently on the board of directors at the University of Memphis College of Communication and Fine Arts, a member of Leadership Memphis and a member of the International Women's Forum, Tennessee chapter. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Legends Award honoree, Lynn Sittler.